Meat Boy is back. Today we are making a carnivore mayonnaise. This is great for mixing with canned seafood like tuna. You could use this to make deviled eggs, crab cakes, put this on your steak. Many uses for mayonnaise, especially when it's delicious as this one. Let's take a look at the ingredients. Every mayonnaise contains an emulsifier. Traditionally, that is eggs. Today, I'm going to use duck eggs. And for the oil, for the fat, I'm going to use duck fat. Normally, Hellman's mayonnaise is going to use low-quality conventional egg yolks. They're going to use soybean oil. So the nutrient density really depends on what eggs you're using and what oil you're using. Another reason I chose duck fat is because it has a high monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fat content. Therefore, it's liquid at room temperature. It'll make it easier to make this mayonnaise. I actually have a Wagyu beef tallow on Frankie's Free Range Meat that's very monounsaturated. That would be great for this as well. Traditionally, use Dijon mustard in mayonnaise. This is a French Dijon mustard. I got this at Whole Foods. It's one of my favorite brands because the only ingredients are water, salt, vinegar, and mustard seeds. Very minimal. A lot of times you'll see preservatives, nitrates, a bunch of spices in the mustard. We need acidity as well. I'm using apple cider vinegar, uh, very classic. Sometimes they use white wine vinegar. A lot of times lemon juice is added. Of course we have salt and I'm gonna add a little bit of honey just to bring out all of the flavors. And there are many, many options you can substitute here. Uh, you know, here's some red wine vinegar as an example. And the main thing is the oil. So here I have high oleic peanut oil, uh, olive oil from California, decent quality stuff macadamia nut oil, you know, whatever oil is relatively low in linoleic acid, I deem all of these acceptable. You guys might think like, Frank, are you crazy? That's peanut oil. Uh, this is high oleic. Uh, it's not oxidized, not as prone to oxidation. So, you know, there are many options depending on how strict you are with your diet. You know, avocado oil may be another option. Uh, but as with everything, when we concentrate these plant foods into oil, you know, there is an herbicide and a pesticide concern, there is an oxidation concern, and it is nowhere near as ideal for our health or as nutritious as an animal fat. First is two egg yolks. Now I'm going to incorporate some air into the egg yolks. This is a lot easier to do in a blender, you know, with an emulsifier, but I'm assuming some of you guys don't have that equipment as we are not all vegans. Now I'm going to separately mix my non-oil ingredients. Half a teaspoon of mustard and be very, very careful with the mustard, guys. If you add a little bit too much, it's really overpowering. Half a teaspoon of salt. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. If you're using lemon juice, use one tablespoon of lemon juice and one tablespoon of whichever vinegar you'd like. One teaspoon of honey. We're going to whip this into the egg yolks about a teaspoon at a time. This is a very common French technique. They use egg yolks to emulsify a lot of sauces. You could even do this with like a chicken stock or a beef stock. Any type of liquid can be incorporated into egg yolks. So we can see the liquid's not separated. We'll add another teaspoon. Our mixture is emulsified. There's plenty of air incorporated. We're going to slowly add our oil, one cup total. So this is 11 ounces. I'm gonna use most of this jar. Maybe two tablespoons at a time here. If your fat isn't liquid at room temperature, what you can do is warm it up and you could even do this mixing process over a water bath on the stove. Uh, some of you might be wondering, yes, duck fat is high in omega-6. You do want to be careful about that. So, you know, if you can get pasture-raised duck fat or pasture-raised chicken fat, that will be better. When you have about half of the fat incorporated, you'll notice the mixture start to thicken. 
After about 10 minutes of whisking, this can set up in the fridge for a couple hours or overnight. After several hours in the fridge, you will have a nice thick mayonnaise. Let's give this a taste. That's really good, really ducky. The duck fat is so delicious. I could probably eat this whole bowl of mayonnaise. <laughs> As you can imagine, it really tastes like what's in it. Nothing's too overpowering. You don't get too much of the mustard, too much of the acidity, too much of the honey, but every single thing is there. Very duck forward, as I said, because, you know, we use duck eggs, we used duck fat. So the more neutral oil you use, the more this would probably resemble mayonnaise. So if you're gonna pair this, you know, with a steak, maybe you do wanna use beef tallow. If you're gonna pair this with tuna, maybe you wanna use olive oil. You know, this would, for me, go great with eggs, go great with anything really. So definitely give this a shot. Next week, I will be making you guys some crab cakes, so be sure to check that out. Thank you guys for joining me. If you could please, above all, share the video. If you enjoyed this, definitely like the video. Subscribe if you haven't, hit that bell icon. If you guys would like to support me further, you can check out Frankie's Free Range Meat. As I said earlier, uh, we have the Wagyu beef tallow that's really monounsaturated, super delicious, something you might wanna try with this. Uh, you can also go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredient, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Thanks again for joining me guys and enjoy the rest of your day.